Hello, thank you for joining today's webinar session on how to manage CRM applications with Sage Intact ERP system. My name is Kevin Devejoglu. I am with Bintry International, and I am today with my colleagues, with Selmat and with Numen Sebeji. Together, we'll be demonstrating to you how you can manage CRM application with Sage Intact ERP system and how you can enjoy the benefits of these modern solutions that we put together. Also, for your information, we have a Q&A session at the end of this webinar. So if you have any questions, you can type in the chat box and we'll address your questions accordingly. Today, we have a tech agenda. Uh, normally, when we have our executive webinar sessions, we start with introductions of our company and our product. Today, we make a, we'll make a change. Uh, let's have a different approach today. We'll start with show and tell, and then we'll talk about introductions to Mimsu International and our product called Eva Electronic Business Automation Platform. And finally, we'll have Q&A session, and we'll address your questions accordingly. When we are starting with the show and tell, today uh, our colleague Sam Watt is our preset software engineer from our engineering team. He'll be demonstrating partner distributor management, customer management, opportunity management, document management, and native mobile application available with our solution. Also, uh, we have been working on executive dashboard. It is going to be available soon. So in our coming executive webinar sessions, we'll be also demonstrating our dashboard as well. Before further ado, I'd like to invite Sam Watt, my colleague, to our virtual stage so that he can perform demonstration on EBA with regards to CRM application that we put together is working with Sage Intec ERP system. Sam, if you are ready, please take over the screen. Sure thing. Thank you, Kevin. And let me share my screen. And can you see my screen with Sage Intech yes. logo on the top left? Yes, it looks good. Okay, great. Thank you, and thank you for joining today's webinar. This is Sam at Bimsu International. So today I will demonstrate EBA, our, uh, our electronic business process automation platform. And uh, the system is integrated with Sage Intech, which means we can pull and push data from uh, Sage Intech to EBA and vice versa. And also, you can see EBA working on the same page of Sage Intech. So after you log into Sage Intech, so while you're managing um, uh, Sage Intech, and also you can connect to EBA as well. So they can work on the same screen and it's helped you to switch between different uh, tab of your web browser. So we have our uh, EBA right here. And also you, um, you can have your single sign on features here with uh, signing in. So once you sign in uh, the first time, then right after you log into Sage Intech, you don't have to log into EBA every single time. And this is the home screen of EBA. You can see uh, all the pending tasks and also the request for approval right after you log in. So those pending uh, requests will be shown on the home screen. For example, this is one of the process that we digitize on EVA. And you can retrieve or show this request on your screen and reveal it. And you can either approve it or reject it. And coming back to the home screen, you can also add your uh, favorite documents and also your last, uh, EVA will show you the last visit document so that you don't have to remember the whole path of your document, for example, your invoice or your training materials. And instead, you can find those uh, a quick connection on the home screen and, and start reading your document right away. And on the left, you can see a lot of the app applications or the sample process that were digitized or put together on EBA. And today, we will go into the CRM applications. 
and show you how to create and manage your business partner's information, for example, vendors, suppliers, and also managing your customer information and how to manage the opportunity and uh, opportunity record by using this CLM application. So first of all, based on the agenda, I will show you how to create and how to use this application and create a new business partner. So here is the form that we put together on EBA. So we can digitize all the forms that you use on paper or uh, Excel file, Excel sheet. We can put together on EVA and right here, you can enter your, the company name, for example, the business partner name, let's say BIMSU International. And then you can add a table or fill in the table with the contact information. For example, the first name of the contact is Sam, which is my name and my first name and last name and the title. And also the phone number, for example, 9176090000. And then the email address. So if there's any supportive information you want to provide uh, along with this contact, then you are more than welcome to do so and type in, in this open text box. And at the bottom, you can see if we want to create a new contact and uh, for this account so that we can check the checkbox and then click OK. So now all the information will be filled to the table automatically. In addition, you can pick and choose the region of your uh, partner, like if they're in US or Europe. And remember, in all the items in the drop-down list that you can see on any EVA form, they are configurable, which means you can add edit or delete any item that you can see in the drop down list. And right here we pick and choose the status like are they active, not interest, cancelled or and so on. Again, all the items that you can see here can be updated at any time if needed. And on this form, you can also enter the uh, website of your partner, for example, bimsainter.com, and also pick and choose the country that uh, this partner is located. So we are going to pick an uh, United States of America, and then you can pick and choose the state that it is, uh, this company located. For example, New York, uh, Texas, California, so we can pick and choose New York, where I am now, and also the city. So you can see, always you can pick and choose your option in a list and use the filter function provided on, on EVA so that you don't have to look around and find the best option in a, in a list, considering there's a hundred items in your list. And then you can enter your address like Madison, Avenue and also the manager of this um, partner. And now all the information are ready, then we can send this out and this applications or requests will be put into the workflow which you can see on your screen now. So this is a detail, um, a workflow in detail and anytime we can update your workflow based upon your need and actual operations of your company. For example, if you want to um, remove one approval layer, you're more than welcome to do so in, uh, by using the studio of EVA so that you can update your workflow and the update will be reflected to your business process as simultaneously. So now we will send this out and it will go to the manager. And later on, this um, you are more than welcome to add any opportunities or event or reminders in this form. And the new partner's information will push to Sage Intech accordingly. So let me show you on in live. 
So now I want to send this request to the approver. And by the workflow uh, fill history, you can see uh, when we send out our request and who, um, which user, um, whom approval that we are waiting for on what day and time. So now as an approver, I can reveal this form, which I can, I'm no longer available, uh, able to change it. And then we can approve it. And it will be sent to the next, lay, um, next approver, which is myself as well, in order to, uh, the reason why, because I want to state um, or avoid switching between um, different accounts. That's why I make myself as all the approver in the flow. But uh, please keep in mind that we can always define uh, the position or the users as the approver in your workflow. So for example, like financial department manager or um, admin manager. So we can always do so here. So now we are waiting for the flow um, for my um, uh, approval so that we can go to workflow management also and see what kind of um, business process that is waiting for our approval. So we can pull up our um, pull up our uh, information, and then we can update as an approver and also the manager. We can attach any document with your business partner. You can scan it from the scanner or browse it and upload it from your um, from your local drive. And you can put more information while you're managing this uh, business partner, like the company size of your partners, and also uh, the uh, what which industry they are focusing on. Um, more item like the experience and also the technology skill set, and the characteristic of the customer base. And on the top. You can also create certain activities for um, that you're gonna gonna have with your partner, like uh, any meeting or you want to schedule a call. Then you can pick and choose first of all like the time zone and the uh, activities. Like you want to make a note, you want to uh, remind yourself to have an appointment or call your partner, and then put the detail right here. And in the in addition, you can also link it, this uh, reminder or activities with your uh, business partner contact, like who you should call, and also with the opportunity. And you can save it, and these activities will be saved with your um, with digitized form in terms of managing your uh, business partner's information. So you can see in this table, and also you can set up your reminder and change the status of your uh, business partner, saying uh, they are no longer working with us, so that we can change the status from active to inactive or canceled. Now we can change this and change the status and the form will update accordingly. So this is how we can use our CRM application to manage the information of our, our partner. And next, I want to show you is how to add and manage the information of your customer. So you can create a new account for your customer, and you can enter the, uh, you can pick and choose, first of all, the partner name, since uh, we consider like um, all your customers are coming from your partner, which means your company is channel only, but we can always update the design and also the rule of our application, which means you can, of course, uh, manage the customer information directly. 
without entering any partner name. And right here, we can enter the, um, our custom name, for example, AC company. And then the uh, account number will be generated by the system automatically. And you, we can always update the rule for creating this custom, uh, custom account number. For example, you want to pick and choose the initial of your customer and then put this here. Um, following by the zero number, for example, so that we can update the rule here for you. And then we, you can also manage the information like the marketing source, the homepage of your customer, the industry that um, of our customer, like uh, healthcare, for example. And also we can pick and choose the account type, uh, their revenue, country, state, city, and so on, you can see on the screen. And one more time is we can always update the form as you can see, or the design or the interface of your form so that um, we make sure the applications that you have on your server is the best fit for your operations. So similar to adding a new partner, then we will put this into a flow and it will be sent to the system by uh, to, uh, to a team. And this team will uh, reveal the information that you filled up and approve it. And your customer information will be pushed to Sage Intech. And in this CRM application, we can also find a tool to help you to manage your opportunity. For example, um, you met with a customer uh, uh, an on-site meeting, for example, so that you can pick and choose the account name, like the customer name. And you will see a list and you can pick and choose it. And you can pick and choose the contact of your customer so that you can have a record like who you should contact for following this opportunity and you can enter this opportunity amount let's say it is um ten thousand and what is the percent or uh, percentage of the um that we can have we can gain from this opportunity for example like uh 20 percent and then we can also pick and choose the stage it is currently at like uh, we are engaging and going to have a demo. So you can see the update uh, revenue and also the commission is calculated automatically. So it's avoid any human error um, that you, you may have um, during calculation, for example. And then we can add the owner partner, for example, and also the description here. And what is the next step and also the quotation too and also the opportunity opened for uh certain days so you can also enter right here as well and this attachment can be a reference for you or to the responsible person you're more than welcome to upload it here along with your uh this new record and now we can create the opportunity here and this will be saved in an archive of Eva. Name, excuse me, so that we can enter right here and also the account name. As you can see on this form, we try to put all or most of the fields as a uh, drop down list so that you do not have to type in anything in order to avoid any uh, a typo, for example, or and make sure your data that you choose or enter is accurate. And now we can enter this. And right here, you can see the open opportunities and you can find all the open opportunities record here. 
and you're more than welcome to open this up. And those data that you enter will be showed in this form so that you can have a follow-up. And also, if there is any update in the status, for example, like um, the status of this current opportunity, and now we are going to have a POC, then we can status and then save it. So it's help you to keep tracking of all your opportunities. Think about like we have 20 opportunities and there is a lot of email back and forth so that you can manage it on this form and see the most updated status of this opportunity. And you don't have to look up and search within your email inbox. And also we have this, uh, this is also one of the example of the reporting tool of our business process. So all the information will show in a list and you can uh, see different uh, columns here. And also you can use the search um, search bar provided on the top in order to help you to make a search of your data. So this is the opportunities and you can see the exact same list for managing the business partner and also the customer. And in EVA, we have also a document management module which help you to manage your document. For example, uh, your invoice, training materials, and also um, uh, uh, the notification, for example, so that you can manage your folder structure in the library folder. And after having your library and folder, you can upload your documents accordingly. So this is my library and I'm going to get into my folder. And EBA supports different file formats like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, audio, video, um, Kate file, uh, XML file. So you don't need any other software or application to read your document. And instead, those will be shown in the built-in browser of EBA. We also call it the BIM Viewer. So you can read your document in the built-in browser. And on the top, you, you can find uh, the note that is attached with this document. And now if I showing our document, which you can also zoom in and zoom out. And on this document, you can see signed it. And this is the watermark of this document. EBA provides this features of having the watermark for your uh, documents. And you can change the position, the color, and also the font size of your watermark. And on the top left, this is the version of this uh, document. And EVA will only show you the most up-to-date version or in the built-in browser. And unless you have the, uh, the permission to get back to the previous version, you will not able to get back to the previous um, version of your document. So for example, this is version zero and I now have the permission, then I can get back to the original document and show it in the built-in browser. As I talk about the permission, so that we can always manage the permission of your document or folders. Um, so right here, you can see we can manage the permission of the users based on their role, their position, profession, department or group. So let's, um, and on the right, you can manage the permission like reading the document, uh, getting back to the previous version, download the document, uh, share it as an external link or email, or delete the document. So those permission or those activities can be limited um, uh, to the users or users group or user groups. And coming back to this list on the top, you can see different icons like downloading the document, sending through email, 
or as an external link. So those are some icons that is limited. And as long as you have the permission, otherwise you will not see this icon on the top. And all the activities that the users carry out in the system and to your document will be recorded in a log of EVA. So you can see who did what on what day by coming to this history page. So for example, to this document, there is a user administrator, which is my account, who just read the document at 1.23 p.m., which is minutes ago. So that you can keep tracking the activities of the users and also uh, see if there's any suspicious action is occurred in your system. And go to the main menu. There's a record management module as well. So this is some module which is similar to document management module and one of the most of the, one of the difference is we can set up the retention policy for your um, library folder or documents so for example there's invoices we should only keep it for 10 years for example then we can update the retention policy here and set up uh, by month, like 120 month, which means 10 years. And then we save it. All the folder and also documents saved under this library will be deleted after 10 years, after it's first saved in this library. So it's helped you to comply with certain regulation or standard uh, of your country or your state. So now, uh, similar to Sage Intact, you can uh, connect to EVA by using your web browser. So once we deploy and install EVA on your on-premise server and also on your cloud server, then you can um, you can uh, connect to EVA by using your web browser. And also you can connect to web uh, to EVA by use uh, from your handheld device as well. So I'm going to show you my mobile mobile phone or my smartphone, which is running in uh, Android system. So I can uh, connect to EVA and I can download it from the Google Play Store and then I can also connect EVA on my handheld device, which means you can connect it from your mobile phone or your smartphone or your tablet. Okay, one second, I'm going to pull this up to the screen. And by the way, the data set that you can see on your handheld device will be as same as what you can see on, uh, on your web browser because they are coming from and going to the same database. So that um, you can manage, for example, the requests and also the tasks um, while you are, for example, on your business trip or on the way um, to your customer on-site meeting. So now, this is uh, EVA Mobile. So after you log in on your homepage, you can see all the pending tasks and also the request for approval on your home screen. You can go to approves and find out uh, what kind of request is waiting for your approval. For example, uh, right here, you can see the business partner widget uh, registration form and it's waiting for my approval and there's a five Y's and it's waiting for my approval and also you can see the notification right here as well and on the top left we can open our applications so for example we just met our customer 
and while I'm uh, on my commute, like on the subway or for example, I'm on train, I can also update the opportunity that I have just got so that we can enter the new opportunity and fill in the form. For example, so that is make sure you won't forget, for example, or you will not miss any opportunity here because um, we, uh, we spent our time and we want to grab every single opportunity that we have and we can pick and choose our, uh, our content name, for example, so that we can pick and choose here from a list or we can enter the opportunity name, for example, um, BIMSER International, it is the name Excuse me. Okay. And we can pick and choose the account name. And now, so it will be as same as the one that I've just shown you, so that you can uh, pick and choose the one here. As I mentioned, you can see the same data set and also enter the amount, like $5,000. And fill up the rest of your form and send this out. So you can create an opportunity or cancel it on your smartphone or tablet. It's come to the end of my demonstration. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam, for the demonstration. Much appreciated. As you see, Within Sage Impact Screens, EBA-based CRM application is ready to help you manage your B2B as well as B2C style customer relationship management. This is very important. And also, um, in addition to relationship management and record keeping, we also have a portal like document management and records management capabilities on EBA, which you can utilize with Sage Impact so that you can manage your documents, your um, manuals, your contracts, your brochures, your catalogs, and other information with regards to your products all together in one portal. So you don't have to keep sending it to your customers, for example, you can get access to your customers through the system. They can just plug in themselves and they can see those catalogs uh, and related uh, manuals, user guides, and so on. Uh, as well as videos as to training regarding your products and services, for example. Just like Sam mentioned earlier, EBA, our electronic business automation platform, is permission-based. So even if you give access to your customer, for example, as for them to see training documents, user guidelines, menus, and so on, they can only see what you allow them to see, nothing more than that. So it makes things much easier for you. You don't have to send repeating emails to different customers, and uh, it'll be much easier for you to see which customer of yours connects the system, what part of the system he she connects, and if uh, there is any additional assistance needed that you can definitely have this conversation within the uh, eBus environment, within the Sage Impact screen, so you don't have to leave your ERP system, which is Sage Impact in this, particular case that we have been focusing on. Uh, we have been developing EBA since uh, 1998, so there is, of course, uh, more to go, as we always know. And we've been also developing it to make it available for Sage Impact ERP ecosystem. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, a dashboard for the CRM application is coming up. So once it's available, uh, we'll also share it in our coming executive webinar sessions. As I mentioned earlier, we keep our contact information on the screen. So if you'd like to continue this conversation, if you have any questions after the webinar session, you can send us an email and we can schedule a meeting, one-to-one -one meeting, so that we can have a further conversation together. Now I'd like to continue from here and I'd like to talk about who we are and what we do at BIM3 International. At BIM3 International, we are an enterprise software maker since 1998. We are based in New York. 
in essence, we have companies simplify their business processes and we have them digitally transform themselves. That is what we do. We are very active in various business communities, as you see on the screen, especially in North America. We are, we are with various uh, manufacturing, servers, banking, and other business communities nationwide. We love to be engaging with business communities in the US and we will continue to do so. Also, we have an internship program called University of Pinsu International that is, uh, that is designed to help university students learn about pre-sales and software engineering, which happens to be very popular nowadays and we enjoy this internship program with university students. We have a global presence. We are based in New York, as you see on the map. Also, we are very active in Europe. And as a group, we are about 200 people. We are a global organization. We are also ISO 9001 certified and ISO 27001 certified. These quality management certifications mean we have policies and procedures and quality management systems in place, and they are independent from any individual. These are systems, no matter who is in charge. We make sure that every time we deploy our projects, we have the highest quality standards available at our company, that's what it means. Since 1998, we have been developing these four products, EVA, Beam, QDMS, and Ensemble. So EVA is, in essence, uh, that's an electronic business automation platform. It has a workflow engine, backend management, uh, capture as well dashboard modules available, and we'll talk about uh, a little further in a minute. We have Beam, that's our asset, maintenance, facility fleet, and energy management software. We have QDMS as a quality, risk, audit, and compliance management software. And we have Ensemble as a business process modeling and performance management software. Since 1998, we have been developing many different projects, as you see on the screen. These numbers show how many projects we deployed by the end of last year. They, these numbers also represent more or less how many customers we have globally, corporate customers. As you see, we have thousands of customers and we have millions of professional users. And these numbers are increasing every single month. Some of our references, I pick and choose uh, some of the people brands that we are proud to work with. We work with 3M, we work with Greystone, Ren and Nissan Alliance, Ford is one of our customers. United Nations is one of our United Nations, one of our customers that we work very close, and we are proud of this reference. We work with Unilever, Hankel, Hyundai. Uh, we work with also uh, Pladis and other reputable companies, organizations, and institutions. Let's talk about EBA a little bit. So uh, earlier today, um, Sam demonstrated, my colleague Sam demonstrated uh, EBA-based CRM application that is actually running between stage impact screens together. Uh, EBA is, a, is an electronic business automation platform, in essence. That is where we develop solutions such as a CRM application that we performed earlier as a demo. And uh, in essence, it is designed to run standalone, and uh, we also made it available in stage impact screens. EBA has more than 500 core to corporate customers, more than one and a half million professional users, and right now there are more than 50,000 business processes running on EBA. It, is, it has a very modern architecture that's web-based. You can access the system from anywhere, similar to Sage Impact. Uh, it works on cloud as well as on-premise servers. It's also available on cloud, so you can easily use with your Sage Impact. ERP system. With the web service APIs, EBA is ready to communicate with many other systems, IoT devices, CRM systems, POC applications, manufacturing execution applications, and other applications that you may have at your organization. So the idea is to have you have an integrated management system. EBA has four modules, workflow module, backend management module, capture and dashboard. So these modules are independent uh, and they also work together when there is a need, depends on the project, so that gives us a lot of flexibility, depends on the expectations and business requirements. When we focus on the workflow module, we see that that's actually help you design your 
business processes as well as digitize your forms and design your workflows basically. It has a drag and drop technology. It's very easy to use. You can easily design your processes. It has notifications, reminders, as well as escalations available. There are many different applications that we have been building on, on EBA. CRM is one of them, which is very popular, both for the B2B as well as B2C application. In addition, you can use EBA for many different business processes, expense management, change management, which is very popular nowadays, risk management, training, contract management in a paperless environment digitally, uh, vendor management, and many other applications that you can have on EBA digitally working seamlessly with Sage Impact. Also, we have a document and records management module where you can manage your documents. So when we say documents, the concept is a little broad. Uh, in addition to PDF files, Word files, you can also manage your video files, your audio files, MP3s, MP4s, and um, CAD files, for example. You can manage pretty much any type of file within eBus document management module. It has uh, check in and check out features available. It has also versioning capabilities. Uh, it has also uh, Office add on integration capabilities. Uh, which is very common. Um, entire system is role-based, so uh, you have unique username, unique password, so that's how you log in the system. And as Sam uh, demonstrated earlier, once you log in, once you log in, and once you click the uh, single sign-on uh, uh, box, you don't have to sign in again within Sage Intech, which makes it very easy for you to uh, for you to use and uh, access the system. It has uh, Locks available so you know who access the system, uh, what he she does, how long time that person spends. You all know this, so we have that audit trail which helps you control who is accessing the system and what they are doing. Uh, also, just so you know, EBA is uh, HIPAA compliant as well as uh, CFR Part 11 compliant to make sure that uh, we have uh, the system in place is to make sure uh, audit trail is in place as well as we have a secure, traceable, reportable working environment digitally for you and for your team, teams and team members. Uh, capture module has an OCR engine that basically helps you capture uh, characters and um, letters and uh, other information on screens. We can pull it through OCR and we can help you automate the processes. A typical example may be accounts payable automation or accounts receivable automation, for example, where you can actually read the uh, characters on an invoice as in as to accounts payable automation. And we can automate the process from there. We can read the invoice number, vendor name, we can pull the purchase order uh, and other information from Sage. In fact, we can make a three way match. And if everything checks out, we can help you automate the payment process as well, which is a common practice. And there are many other feel that you can enjoy the benefits of OCR based capture module of EBA. And we have a, an executive dashboard module that basically has capabilities to have you KPIs and other important information on your screens in a visual way with bar charts, pie charts, tables, maps, and other visual elements that you can utilize and use uh, as a manager whenever you like. Okay, until now we talk about uh, who we are and what we do. We talk about uh, EBA, our electronic business automation platform, and earlier in our uh, executive webinar session, my colleague Sam uh, performed a demo for you to show you that how one can use uh, CRM application with Sage Intact in the same screen of the uh, Sage Intact itself, which is very, very practical. Uh, before we jump into the Q&A session, I'd like to uh, invite you to our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel called BIMSO International YouTube channel, where you can actually have an access to our previous webinar recordings. When you click the playlist, you'll see the list of webinar recordings from previous weeks, and you can watch, and you can share with your team members anytime you like. Also, you can anytime visit our event parade page to see our uh, coming webinar sessions. We'll be talking more about Sage Impact related applications that we put together. In coming weeks, we'll be also talking about quality management 
standard digitally is to comply how you can use 3DMS as well as Sage Impact together. In addition, we'll be talking also about vendor management in addition to customer relationship management digitally with the help of EBA and Sage Impact in one screen together. So those webinars are coming up and you can visit our Eventbrite page. You can see the list of our executive webinars. You can register for those you are interested. So we welcome you and we invite you to our Eventbrite page. Okay, great. So let's talk about uh, questions that we have been getting from you. So uh, one of the questions that uh, we received is about a number of customers. How many customers can we manage on EBA CRM application? So uh, actually there is no limit. Uh, you can manage as many customers you like uh, on uh, EBA environment basically with your stage impact ERP system. So the limit is infinity, I will say. Uh, can you also tell us about invoicing? Is there any link between EBA based CRM application and Sage uh, Impact? Yes, so uh, any information that you have, especially if you like to turn opportunities into sales uh, and if you like to turn it into invoice, uh, we have those capabilities as well. So we can uh, make it available for you, even though we didn't show you today in the, the demo session. Uh, we can make it available for you. Also, before turning it into an invoice, an opportunity, for example, if you like to have a, an internal review and approval from your uh, supervisors, from managers, and other uh, officials in your organization, uh, we can also uh, set that workflow for you, which uh, which is something uh, my colleague Sam demonstrated earlier. So that workflow piece is actually very important. It's because uh, we keep talking about CRM applications, but underneath, when we are actually running our CRM applications, we may need reviews and approvals based on our internal hierarchy. So that is actually the importance of uh, importance of workflow engine actually uh, becomes very obvious so that actually we can, uh, we can help you utilize that capability. So based on your company hierarchy and your uh, CRM uh, system that you have in place as a, um, as a way of doing, uh, as a way of uh, performing uh, customer relationship management, we can actually replicate your current system into eBA so that you can run it within page impact screens. We have another question. Um, as for documents and records, can we use these CRM application by EBA as a portal? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, in addition to the CRM application that we demonstrated today, um, we can use it both for B2B and B2C purposes, first of all. And the document management piece and records management piece that we showed you earlier, uh, that is actually a portal, you're right. So you can give access to your customers. They can just get into system with, with strict permissions. They can only see, for example, uh, videos about your products, let's say training videos, um, let's say user guides and manuals, uh, perhaps. So they can see those parts that they can actually pull, or they can watch, and they can share with, you, with the team members if they are allowed. So that's really up to you. If, you. if you want them to see certain contracts, certain documents that just for their own company, for example, that is also possible. Um, for example, you can uh, really personalize uh, you can have personalized, I will say, libraries within the document management module of the CRM application that we showed earlier, so that you can give access to certain libraries or certain folders in the entire platform, so that, that your customer can see all the documents related to them, nothing more than that, nothing uh, extra or un unrelated. So that's going to be also helpful for you to uh, save time when you are interacting with your customers, so you don't have to repeat yourself via emails or uh, or phone calls, uh, just an access to the system is going to basically uh, be very helpful. Uh, you can save time, your customer can save time, and your customer can access the data whenever they, want, they like, by the way, 24-7. Uh, so uh, it's not only limited to the work hours or work days, it can be any time your customer likes to connect, you can give them the access with username and password and uh, certain permissions in place that is going to be uh, very, very, um, I will say, uh, customer-centric approach in this competitive marketplace. 
let me see if there's another question. There is a question about mobile app. So we demonstrate the mobile app. The question is about is it Android or iOS? That's the question. Um, so the mobile app that we demonstrated earlier uh, is a native mobile app of EBA where you can manage your CRM activities, both for B2B and B2C activities, I will say. Uh, it, it is native mobile app. That means it works in um, Android as well as iOS devices. So what you need to be doing is um, you need to download the uh, mobile app from uh, the store, Google Store or uh, iOS Store, and then uh, you basically can log into system with your username and password. That's pretty much uh, it. So that that makes it uh, easy for you to access your data, uh, manage your CRM applications, and more. Okay, I think uh, we address all the questions. Uh, all the good questions, by the way, much appreciated. I'd like to thank you for your time and thank you for your interest in eba based CRM application running four stage intact ERP in the same streams of stage intact. Uh, and if you have any questions, if you'd like to have any more um, information, if you'd like to have one to one meetings, please uh, send us an email. Uh, we have our contact information on the screen and we'll be happy to have a meeting with you and discuss your. Uh, season application goals, uh, objectives, uh, while you are using your stage intake ERP system. Thank you very much and have a nice day.